Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and in today's video we're going to talk about Illustrator versus Photoshop and what is best for you as a designer. Now as a designer I do use both programs but there is one that I definitely use more than the other. But before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe it really does help my channel to grow especially that like button you have no idea how much it helps to promote my videos. Please also leave a comment I'd like to chat to you guys and get to know you a little bit better and build this fashion community up. All right, okay, let's just get straight into it. So Photoshop and Illustrator. What are these programs? Why do you need them? And what is the best one for design? Well, as I said, I use both programs, but I do use Illustrator more than I use Photoshop. Now, that's not to say that you will need Illustrator and only Illustrator going forward. No, you do need skills in both of them. Now, Illustrator is a vector-based program and Photoshop is a render-based program. And the keys in the titles really. Illustrator is best for illustrations and Photoshop is best for photography and editing them kind of things. Now I use Photoshop in probably different ways than other people do. I use it for cutting out images and putting them into different scenarios, mainly for my YouTube thumbnails to cut out myself, blur the background a little bit more and then I can go in with all my typography and everything like that on Illustrator. So what are the key differences when it comes to Photoshop and Illustrator? Well as I've said, Photoshop is a photo-based render program and Illustrator is a vector-based program which basically means that if you zoom, 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 zoom in on an Illustrator program and something that you've drawn in there, it will always have a clean, crisp line. Whereas if you zoom really far in to a Photoshop image, it will come up with pixels. Now pixels aren't a bad thing, it just means that as you get further into a shape the colour is slightly darker and as you get towards the edge it just goes lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets to white or until it goes to the next colour. Whereas with Illustrator it is a clean line and a defined black or white or whatever it might be. Be. Now for me, Illustrator is really good for drawing your shapes, it's really good for drawing your silhouettes, it's really good for drawing your designs, your typography, graphics and all of that sort of stuff. But Photoshop does also have its good points. It's great for artistic drawings and especially if you are a graphics designer or an illustrator, you can go in, you can draw all the things that you need to draw on Photoshop and make it look really cool, pull it into Illustrator and do all the vector based artwork on top of that later on. I would say that if you're a graphics designer, Photoshop is really worth learning and delving into and really getting an in-depth knowledge of. I think you need both Photoshop and Illustrator if you're a graphics designer because there's certain things that you can do in Illustrator that you can't do in Photoshop and vice versa. Yeah, I would say learning both of them if you are a graphics designer. But I'm not a graphics designer, I'm a shapes designer. I design clothing and garments and not necessarily focusing on the graphics or anything like that as much. So that's why I use Illustrator more than I use Photoshop and literally Photoshop is great if you want to do something like cut out hair. It's really difficult to do that on Illustrator because obviously it's a vector based program so you're going to have to be working with clean lines going all the way around the hair whereas with pixels you can literally pull out the pixels that you don't want and delete them and then you can reuse it and pull it into Illustrator at a later date and you've got your hair all nicely cut out. So you know there are pros and cons to each program. So Illustrator is all about being clean, it's about graphics, about illustrations, it's about doing your shapes and it's about drawing your silhouettes. Whereas Photoshop is mainly to edit the photos and the graphics that you may have already done and put different effects on top of them that you can't necessarily do in Illustrator. Now in an ideal world they would combine Photoshop and Illustrator to make one amazing program but obviously that would be huge and really difficult to do and it would probably cost Adobe a lot in profit so that's probably why they're keeping them separate. Now in my experience I kind of learnt Photoshop first and then went on to Illustrator because there are a few commands that kind of correlate with each other. There's not many but you know obviously command and C is copy. So with me I started with learning Photoshop at university and then I learned Illustrator as I went into my career. But they do always say try and learn Photoshop first because that is slightly easier. I don't agree with that. I actually think Photoshop is harder than Illustrator. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my more technical mind. I can 
work Illustrator a lot better than I can work Photoshop, but I have been working on Illustrator for over 10 years, so maybe that's just a bit of a bias. But generally people say learn Photoshop first and then move on to Illustrator. But at the end of the day, it's all down to you and it's all about the career that you want to go for. If you want to be more of a shapes designer like I am and you want to work with different silhouettes and you want to work with vector-based programs and you're not too keen about doing all the graphics and working with photos and all of that sort of stuff, then maybe Illustrator is the best thing for you and you can sort of learn how to do Illustrator going forward. Or if you like all of that photo editing and all that trickery and all of that sort of stuff, playing with different hues and saturations, working with Instagram and all of that sort of stuff, then Photoshop might be for you as well. There are loads of YouTube videos out there if you want to go and check them out about how to use Photoshop and Illustrator. I myself have some, so go and check them out. I'll leave links all in the description below. And if you want to try out Photoshop and Illustrator for free, I think there's a 14 day trial at the moment with Adobe. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can go and try out Illustrator on a 14 day trial. Try it out before you actually buy it and then see which one you prefer. But for now that's it for this video. I know it was short and sweet but it was just basically to jump on here and say the different kind of programs that you would need if you want to be a fashion designer, graphics designer or illustrator. If you liked it give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that beautiful red subscribe button down below. Please also check out my Etsy shop where you can buy CADs and vectors to help support you in your everyday design life. And it really helps support this channel. Otherwise, I'll see you here every Monday and Thursday with a brand new video. All right, okay, thanks for watching. All right, bye. Cha-cha-cha. Bye.